Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Incident at Grove Lake, which is a found footage style horror game where you're abducted by a UFO. No trespassing beyond this point. Oh look, it's Area 51. Time to run in there. Naruto style. Someone's approaching. And they're being let in. No, they're leaving. Into the server. Boy, this is a slow server going by that dial up tone. Traumatizing. Target, appreciate you taking my call. Unknown. Let's get this straight. You got out, unnoticed. Medical discharge. They think I have kidney stones. Heh. <laughs> Not so smart as they think at S4, huh? Smarter than you know. So can we meet? Sure. Let's make it a public place. Remember, I don't have a lot of time. Never do I. Let's save the diner on. Works for me. I'll bring what I found. Good. I'll see you soon. Remember what I have at risk for this. I remember. Somewhere north of Nevada. September 9th, 1997. So I am... I think I'm playing the guy that was in the phone booth, but I could also be playing the uh, one going to meet them. So we'll see. Gotta act natural. Don't have no evidence of UFOs or anything on me. That'd just be crazy talk. You're totally not a government agent. Yeah, you keep on walking, buddy. Looks like this is a diner. Hello, fellow customers. Thank you for coming. I didn't know who else to tell. Yes, I was the person meeting them. I have risked much getting here. They're following me. I, I don't have much time. Please take these. Some files and just one of many tapes they have. Get this stuff to the public. They need to know before it's too late. I don't hear from you by the 11th. I'm going public with this. There's a radio station I know of, you know? Please go and be careful. They'll follow you too. Looks like the guy picked up a tape over there. Let's go and uh, follow him. September 10th, 1997.
Welcome to the Rockies. You are on the air on Hertz Gold Coast. Hi there. Hi. Uh, just calling. Uh, I'm from Gulfport, Florida. Gulfport, Florida. Okay. Yeah. All the way across the continent from you. Yes. Um, it's a little continent, though. Well, that's true. Especially nowadays. Looks like we've been tracking all this stuff. Get the documents here. I exactly understand what's going on in these documents. Snare deal foes. I guess we're just going to play this tape. Interesting format for this game. The following tape is property of the United States government. If they don't follow rules or laws. Copy and distribution of this tape is strictly prohibited. If they don't follow clearance or laws. The following took place August 19th, 21st, 1997, Grove Lake. Redacted. Oh boy, sure hope no UFO stuff happens to me. With the distortion of the tape, it kind of feels like the world is like acting tipsy. See what I mean? It's like it's melting to the side. Take a long walk in the woods. I feel like UFOs would be the least of our worries. Could be a grizzly bear out here. A grizzly bear with cubs. Well, someone did not maintain this tape. Hey! Hey you! Up there in the sky! Okay. Curious jump. Going on the lake. Ooh, birds. Doing bird stuff. Well, here's our, here's a camp. I think this was the one we saw earlier. Someone with her pants here. A little bit of a walk to this lake. A little bit of walk indeed. Please turn Supplied Handbook to page 42. We'll now review the four types of encounters. What? First kind. Visual signs of unidentified flying objects seemingly less than 500 feet away. That showed an appreciable angular... Extension and considerable detail. Lever balloon. 
Second kind. A UFO event with physical effect, such as interference of animal reactions of physical trace, like impressions on the in the ground, scorched or otherwise affected vegetation, or chemical trace. Third kind. You've encounters in which an animated entity is present. These include humanoids, robots, and humans see the occupants or pilots of a UFO. Hey, everyone. Fourth kind. A close encounter of the fourth kind is a UFO event in which a human is abducted by a UFO or its occupants. Always fun. For the UFO. And certain people. That shooting star. That is flying straight and meeting another shooting star and then multiplying. That one, nope, that one just shut off. Okay, we're playing, uh... I guess we went over to this clearing and then we camped. Just don't worry about... Just animals, you hear them a lot at night. Whoa, 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 whoa! There's multiple lights everywhere. It's fine. This is okay. Need some interference in the video. Take shelter in that barn! Oh god, it's triangle shaped. Wait, no! So what was the second one? They, they abducted the camera too? I guess, because it was facing the guy when it was inside of here. Oh no. This is kind of fleshy. This is, uh... uh this is that... I don't want to fully spoil it, but this is that one recent movie. This is not good. Not good. Very bad. Don't really want to get close to the death spikes. No, 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 no. Oh. 
That's XCOM for you. So they dumped the camera out afterwards? My assumption. Almost like dumping out trash. The tape is now concluded. No refer for footage is recoverable. The tape will be added to archive section four. Please now contact your facility supervisor for psychoanalysis and debrief. I ain't signing nothing. I don't believe in forms. Or laws. Your discretion is a matter of national security. Please remember your oath and those who came before you. Please eject tape now. Oh, that was... Well, that's one ejection. Just did my eyeballs out. I feel like we're being followed. There's gonna be a knock at the door, isn't there? <laughs> you predictable government bastards. Where do I have my, uh, my gun? Damn. Not smart. Is there a secret... Ping me on that shelf? Or it could just be a texture. Oh! Frankly, I'm not sure what we expected. And Center 11th talk show host Art Bell receives a frantic call. Online, you're on the air. Hello. Hello, Art. Yes. Hi. Um, I, 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 I don't have a whole lot of uh, time. Um, well, look, look, let's begin by finding out whether you're using this line properly or not. Uh, Area 51. Yeah, um, that's right. Were you an employee or are you now? Uh, I, a former employee. Former um, employee. I, I, I was let go on a medical discharge about a week ago, and, and... <laughs> I, I've kind of been running a, across the country, um, oh man, I don't know where to start, they're, they're, uh, they're, they're gonna, um, they'll triangulate on this position really, really soon. So um, you can't spend a lot of time on the phone, so give us something quick. Okay, um, um, okay, what, what we're thinking of as, as aliens are, they're, uh, they're, they're extra dimensional beings that, an earlier precursor of the, um, space program made contact with. Uh, they, they are not what they claim to be. Uh, they have infiltrated a lot of, uh, uh a lot of aspects of, of, of the military establishment, particularly the Area 51. Uh, the, the disasters that are coming, they, the, the military... I'm sorry, the, the government knows about them, and th there's a lot of safe areas in this world that they could begin moving the population to now, Art. But they're <laughs> not doing, they're not doing anything. They are not, they want the major population centers wiped out <laughs> so that the, the few that are left will be more easily controllable. <laughs> you know what's a problem when your whistleblower is the least concise explainer of things? Thanks for playing. So that's it for Incident at Grove Lake.
I have played another game from this developer. It was the uh, something of the. Uh, it had like a merry looking statue. It was also a found footage horror game. And I might have played something else for them. I, d I don't fully remember. Because you remember, I, I play hundreds, hundreds of games. But uh, I think there was. I wonder if this was kind of set off by it. But wasn't there something in the news? I don't watch the news almost at all anymore. Um, about there was some recent UFO thing that came out. So I wonder if this kind of instigated this to come out. Uh, there is another UFO horror game, I think, coming out tomorrow as of this upload date. But yeah. I actually like the format of how they did it. The um, the graphics outside of like the uh, the UFO section, obviously, are it's kind of hard to make out things. Uh, it's going for a little too hard. I always I never like when they go too hard in the VHS effect. I think you need like a filter, but I just don't think it has to be like it'd be more blurry than like staticky. You know what I mean? But I did like the semi. Not so much non-linear, because that implies you have choices, but just more of like, it was like non-straight gameplay-wise. It was jumping perspectives a little bit. We were kind of going in perspective within perspective. So I like the feel. I feel like our journalist alien hunter person should have really have had a gun or been like prepared to know like the first person knocks on his door is going to be some X-Files government agents. I mean, like, have an exit plan. An exit plan that involves at least three magazines. <laughs> I mean, we've all seen the the movies that have to do with like UFOs or conspiracies. Like, get a move on, you know what I mean? But yeah, anyway. So thank you all for watching play Incident at Grove Lake. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.